Um, I sent out a text message tonight, one of my group text messages that I do daily. Well, not always daily, but I try to do daily. But it was basically about um, going through trials. Like, one, a, a person at work had some stuff happen to them or got a call that they were diagnosed with something and needed to come in and either get treatment for it or medication or whatever else. And I was told about it, and we said a prayer out loud, which is kind of crazy because I work with a, a lot of people that are of faith. You wouldn't know it sometimes by the way we talk or joke around. But I wonder if the disciples were like that too. And Jesus was like, oh my Lord. Like, I don't know if he said, oh my Lord, but <laughs> oh me, I guess. But seriously, like, I mean, somebody said to say a prayer, but they told me something before we said that prayer for lunch. You know, which is also crazy because right the day before, I freaked out on a couple of them for, they were dicking around too much, messing around, goofing off, like, it was like we were having huddles, and we don't have a football team, we have a company, and we need to be doing what we're doing, but that being said, we're all family, and I try to keep that at work, church, and everywhere else, but we were uh, at lunch, he had asked to pray, so I prayed, prayed for the meal, thank you, help us do good at work, and everything else, and I'd found something out about one of my crewmates that was kind of troubling like they were diagnosed with something and needed to go into the doctor and get it checked out and it got me thinking about this message that I wrote last night which was even though we're going through struggles even though trials come up even though tribulations come up and I, I talked about it like sometimes stuff comes up in life and it really knocks the wind out of your cells and a lot of times we're talked about as a ship or a sailboat um, in a vessel in the water and you don't have a lot of control over the water and the wind and the waves and all the things that get to rock in the boat but we walk on water like he taught us to float but Jesus Christ did walk on water and he did teach us to float and the whole point was the disciples one time were in this huge collision of waves and wind and the boat was about to capsize and they felt like they were going to die and they Jesus is downstairs sleeping in the I don't know what they call that part of the boat, but they run down there and wake him up and like, God, we're going to die if you don't wake up. And so he wakes up, walks outside and rebukes the storm. Be still. And then turns and is like, you have little faith. Like you still don't get it. Like you, you still don't get that. I'm in control of everything. Like it doesn't matter what's going on in your life. It doesn't matter what call you get from a doctor. It doesn't matter what diagnosis you're gonna get dealt. It doesn't matter what we're going through in life. What matters is are we focusing on everything in this world or are we focusing on Christ? Because if we're focusing on everything in the world, we're, we're not focusing on the thing that controls everything in this world. Like God didn't choose to give us all these things that came from sin. Adam and Eve chose to not obey one command and then the fall happened and then all these other things happened. So no matter what storm we're going through or what thing comes or what family member dies or what loved one dies or what, whatever we're going through in life, it really doesn't matter as long as we're focused on Christ. And if we're focused on Christ, no matter what happens in this life, whether it's death, which is the worst thing, or whatever else, there's something else after that because of what Christ did for us. And we have to remember that. Like it, I know a lot of times in life we get just going through the motions and going through things and, and everything's honky dory or just fine and then something will come and it's devastating and it's like <sighs> and it takes the wind out your cells but when those times happen it also is a time to grow it's a time to realize like anything can happen at any moment we're not promised tomorrow so be thankful each day be grateful for the moments you get with your kids. Be thankful for the moments that you get with loved ones. Be thankful for the moments you get with your coworkers. Try to make situations not as devastating as they might be and start focusing on the things and the groups and the fellowship that we have around us. And whether that be our work or anything else, and I, I should have stopped and prayed with that guy. I didn't. I talked to him individually, one-on-one, -on -one, but I should have probably called everybody and been like, you know what, let's pray for this brother so he gets through this, and I probably will tomorrow, but... I mean, it's those little things in life that, like, make people realize, like, you're not alone. 
And God didn't put us alone, nor does he want us to bear things alone. And he wants us to focus on him. So daily do that. And we have to realize, like, even if we can't walk or crawl, he's carrying us. It's like those footprints in the sand. And we are sometimes carried by Christ. So get carried. Be thankful for that. I love y'all and realize that no storm is too great for God. He calms everything if we'll just focus on him and not the storm. Love y'all.